What's up, guys? It's me, your bad as is Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we said that we were going to be taking small trips around uh, everywhere because we got the surf technique now, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to do, we're, gonna, we're probably going to do like a side quest here and there, maybe just one side quest. And uh, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and just teach surf to our good old buddy. Uh, well, we could teach it to Psy. He's kind of, he's good to know it too. You know what? Screw it. Let's go teach Ace of Ace uh, Surf right here for the my, uh, for the time being because he does need an extra move right here. And then uh, once we get Waterfall, then yeah, we can switch it up and uh, take care of business right there. Of course, we were in Mr. Elton City, so it would be easy for us to just you know forget any kind of moves or anything like that. So first is first. Let's go right ahead and visit our mama right here. It's been a while. We haven't seen her in like ages. Probably like a month ago. I don't even know. Okay, so we're back. We're back, baby. Right here with our mama. And uh, she's like, how are your Pokemon? You should rest a little. Good trainers don't push their Pokemon too hard. That is true. That is very, very true. That's why my Pokemon love me. Okay. And uh, I think they figured it out themselves. I think their journeys will prove to be all they could hope for. Okay, that's good. She's worried more about Bianca and, uh, and, and What's-His-Face than me. Okay, so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to be running around everywhere um, and, uh, and and getting items that we've probably forgotten, surfing around areas that we could have surfed at, and uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, end it on a high note right here. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, I haven't thought this through, guys. This is like me winging it right now. Mainly because I was planning on stopping at episode 30 and then just distributing all these videos for you guys. But I figured that, screw it, let's go right ahead and just uh, and just uh, take care of everything else. Now, I could surf right here, but that right there will be for another time being because uh, we have to, we actually have to defeat the Elite Four and all that stuff for all that stuff to happen. So, let's go right ahead and uh, battle some more Patrats right here that, you know, they have attacked us. And, uh, and, and, and abuse this and all that stuff. I think we do have the serve technique as well, so it should be easy for us to actually get items here too. Alright, so here we are in Accumula Town, and if you remember, this is where we actually found Team, Gla Team Plasma. I keep on saying Team Galactic for some reason. And uh, let's see, we're gonna be going a little bit further. As you can see, there's a boulder there, so we're gonna be using strength just to get this over now that we got hot shot right here look at that and we're grabbing this look at that we found ourselves another rare candy very very useful item and uh, did i use any kind of a super repel hold on yes okay so the lingering effects were on the last time so let's see there's nothing right here already battled everybody and a net oh actually hold on hold the horses actually there was supposed to be an item right there and i already got it i think probably Okay, so let's see. Now we're in Stratton City. If you guys remember, that's where we got our first badge. And that's where we continue meeting up with Team Galac or Team Plasma right here. Keep on saying those bastards' names. I don't know. Probably because they left a nice impression. Well, left me in another world for crying out loud. And uh, yeah, there's really nothing right there that we can actually do. So let's get the heck out of here and try and find something else. Let's see. Ah, right here. Let's try and surf in, uh, in this area right here. Let's see. What if I surf right here? Now, remember, once you have the surf technique, you can actually get attacked by Pokemon with their bubbles too, just like uh, anybody uh, would be attacking you with like sand spots or anything like that. So, here we have our first Pokemon being attacked or attacking us uh, through the sea or the river or lake, whatever it is. And it's a Basculin right here. So, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here because we don't want to get attacked anymore. And, uh, well, let's see, I think there's an item right here that we can get only through Surf. Actually, we go right here. And, go right here. There should be something right here somewhere. Huh. But look at that. Bubble Spot. There should be a Pokemon right there. So, we're going to be going right now and, uh, get attacked by this guy. Let's see what it is. Should be a Pokemon, an interesting Pokemon. Nope, it's another Masculine. You guys already know my issues with Basculin. An annoying ass Pokemon. Kind of, uh, runty a little bit, but still fast. That kind of stuff. Alright, so this guy is across the, the little lake right here. So we need to talk to him. He might give us an item. So let's go ahead and get Stoutland from Scotland, just surfing us out. 
I'm glad. I'm so glad you came. I'd love you. I'd love to give you this, and we get ourselves a big pearl. You can actually sell it for a good amount of money. Very, very good amount of money. So let's go ahead and keep on surfing right here. Surf, 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 surf away. There we go. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay. There we go. So let's see. Is there anything else around here that you know you can actually get through surf? No, not really. Okay. So let's get on our bike and uh, let's move on right here. I think I, I think I already know where we need to go to. I think uh, we need to go to the place where we caught ourselves, our good old buddy uh, Drillmonger. So here we are in uh, the we the Wellspring uh, Cave, and there's an area right here where you can actually surf. So let's go right ahead and take take a look at this place right now. Let's see, surfing off. Hell, this might be our adventure right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, collect whatever items there is. Look at that. We found ourselves an item, and we found ourselves an elixir. Nice item to actually uh, regenerate your PPs. And uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Another item right here. And we found ourselves an escape rope. And okay. And there is a secret entrance right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look. And crap baskets. We do need a Pokemon that need that knows or that needs to learn uh, Flash. So let's go right ahead and see if we got Flash. Yes, we do. Let's see who can learn it. I'm pretty sure I can take take it away and then relearn it again. So the only Pokemon that can learn Flash is Gigalith. So let's see what it can unlearn right here. Oh, okay, so yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take away Char uh, Charge Beam for the for the time being, and. You know, reteach it afterwards. Luckily for us, TMs are also uh, reusable right here, so it really isn't a, it's no big no big deal by losing that stuff. So let's go right ahead and use a flash right now. Okay, what's up? And look at that. This is the first time I'm using flash in this game right here, and as you can see, we're we're actually walking through some pretty uh, big stuff right there. Okay, there might be a legendary Pokemon here. I don't know. We're gonna find out. And uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, first we're gonna surf right here, and uh, let's see what we can actually find right here. We're looking for items, rare items, and cool stuff. And look at that—we found ourselves the TM47 Low Sweep, a good fighting type move. And it's kind of like a uh, Karate Kid: sweep the leg. You gotta sweep the leg. He didn't sweep the leg, by the way. He went back to the good side, and uh, let's see, let's see, where the hell are you, repels? There we go. Okay, let's grab that. Luckily, we stopped, uh, we stocked, uh, stocked up on repels. That way, we can get through our adventure right here. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of items. Holy, but Jeebus, what the hell's going on right here? Okay, so that is a group of people, and I'm afraid of, uh, I'm afraid to t to attack them and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and see what we got right here. Wow, this is like taking us into Oh damn, where are we? Okay, so we grab this, we got ourselves the TM-52 Blast Focus, or Focus Blast, <laughs> you see? And we found ourselves a Max Elixir. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got a Pokemon right here, it might be uh, Drillmonger's cousin. Yes it is. Alright, so we got Drillmonger's cousin, a Drillbur. And uh, he's looking for a fight, so let's go right ahead and get the half out of here, and move on along, move on ahead right here, because there's a group of people waiting for us. Okay, so let's see. There's nothing right here, and uh, okay, so this will actually take us elsewhere. Actually, actually, you know what is a good item? The dowsing machine right here. Okay, so it's down there somewhere. Okay, and repel has worn off, so yes, sir. I should, should probably stock up on max repels, just the 50, the 50 extra steps and shit. So let's go right here, and first, uh, let's see what we can find. Uh, okay, we got an item right there. We found ourselves another Mystic Water. Yeah, you can actually find Mystic Waters right here. And uh, let's see. There's nothing right here. Okay, so let's see. Where in the H is Carmen San Diego right here? There's people waiting for us, and we found another item, which is a dive ball. Believe it or not, guys, you can actually dive in this game. I figured that out a while back while I was playing this off-screen, and uh, let's see. Are you looking for a Pokemon here, or are you just uh, wa talking a walk? Taking a walk! Either way, have a battle with me. Alright, here we go, another battle. 
And we're gonna be going up against uh, Battle Girl Zaya or Chow. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Again, I'm sorry if I'm butchering any names right here. Okay, so first, let me, let me, let me go get my handbook right here. Okay, I'm here. I'm coming. I'm here, baby. Okay. While we're while we're kicking butt right here, let's go ahead and take a look at what this whole this whole deal is about. This is the Will Spring Cave. I I'm assuming there might be a legendary Pokemon right here. Okay. Ah, uh, damn. He he he's he's gaining experience. Not gaining experience. He's just he, he's just a. a He's just increasing his stats right here. Now, let's go with the Razor Shell. Let's get it. Nearly takes him out right there. And... Uh, alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, crud. Let's try this again. Here we go. Razor Shell for the win. Okay, so I'm looking at the Wellspring Cave, and... Actually, there is only three things you can actually find right here. Okay, alrighty. So, in, in, in all actuality, they, there's not really a lot of Pokemon that you can actually find right here. Now, this Pokemon, Pokemon trainer is going to come out with Throw, so let's go with Gigalith and give it a little bit of love right here. Now, you can actually find a Poliwrath here in a Poliwhirl once you get done with the game. But... Yeah, there's really not a lot that you can actually find right here. Goddamn Will Spring Cave. And... Uh, yeah, so there's really nothing you can find right here. So, that kind of just, uh... Yeah, that kind of, that kind of right there just kind of messed me up a little bit. But, it's a good thing that we're actually exploring this place. You know, makes for more episodes and all that crud. Taking a nice, uh, nice, uh, whatchamacallit, uh... What was it? Side quest and all that crud. So here we go. Air cutter. Oh man, this throw right here is a uh, is a tank of a Pokemon, and wow, paralyzes my Pokemon just like that. Okay, I see how it is. Here we go with the Fasai Beam and crud. He's uh, taking advantage and look at that. His physical attack is through the roof. I wasn't thinking of using that Pokemon right there, but look at that. Throw has defeated this guy. Alrighty. Suck on that. Okay, so they're all fighting type Pokemon right here. Let's see what she has to say. Even if you forget about this battle, I will never forget this. Okay, well, she's very vengeful. The vengeful type. Just like I like them. Okay, so let's go with Hotshot right here. And uh, let's take care of this person right now. Oh, trainer. Do you want to learn a bitter lesson? Okay, sure. Why not? Let's do this. Bring it, sister. Alrighty, here we go. And she's coming out with her girder. Please insert girder. You guys ever watch Futurama? I am Bender. Please insert girder. That episode. Can't remember what it was. Alright, so yeah, they're well above level 30, so this is gonna be a little toughy. A little tough, but it, it's cool. It's all cool. Alrighty. And uh, here comes a rock slide, which really knocks on Hotshot. All the way down. Crud! Okay, so they're not joking. <sighs> okay, slap the torrent. Maximum effort. Okay, alrighty. Let's go with some razor shell right here. Razor shell does it. Razor shell gets it. Yeah, buddy. No more girder and more experience for for my Pokemon. And she is coming out with a sock. So, let's uh, continue on right here with the uh, side of the Torrent. So I'm facing some pretty good Pokemon right now. This Surf has opened up a little bit of an avenue for more rivals in crud. And this guy right here, ooh, gets his butt kicked. And here he comes with a bulk up. As you all know, it likes to increase its attack and defense. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to defeat right there. So here we go again. Another Razor Shell. Gets it. Suck it. Sock. Ready. Okay. And Maggle. Is that her name? Maggle? The hell? Alright, what do you have to say? Going slowly is fine. If I train every single day, I will be strong someday. That's good. That's good for you. Very, very, very good for you. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to heal my Pokemon. Because, uh, you know, I'd be a dick not to. 
But first, let's give Gigalith a little bit of a lift. There we go. And sign of the turret right here. And yeah, we got a Pokemon right here who needs a revive. So let's go ahead and use that revive on Hotshot. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got to go back to Moo Moo Milk. Got the last one. Here we go, Hotshot. Drink your milk. Get a little bit stronger. And uh, let's see. Paralysis heal. Let's go. Let's go. Giglyph right here. So all my Pokemon are nice and healed. And uh, let's go ahead and battle their leader right here, Kung Lao. Competitive eating is one thing I do. I'm good at. You don't say. Is that a challenge? I kind of feel like it's a challenge, guys. I kind of feel like it's a goddamn challenge. He is challenging me to an eating contest now. For those who don't know, I do love to eat. I really do, guys. One of my favorite pastimes. Uh, one of my favorite pastimes is eating either pizza or tacos. When I'm not on a diet or anything like that, those are the two go-to uh, foods right there. Now, the most I've ever eaten on a on in a, in a pizza. Well, I can honestly say that I can eat a whole box of uh, Little Caesars pizza. A whole box. That's it. That's all I'll go for. I know, I know, it's a little too big, eh, but still, you know, if, if the mood hits, I will eat a full box of uh, Domino, or not Domino pizza, but Little Caesars pizza. Now, as for tacos, now tacos is, this is where, this is where it gets interesting. One time, in one setting, I actually ate 23 tacos. No joke, 23 tacos, guys. Now, if you guys want to hear the story, it's going to be hilarious. While I'm battling, I'm going to let you guys know exactly what this, uh, battle is going to, or how, how, how it went right here. So one time, actually many times, my buddies always challenge me to eating uh, tacos with a big fat quesadilla. And for those who don't go to Mexican restaurants or anything like that, if you order a quesadilla, it's not going to be one of them small quesadillas that your best friend does. It's one of them big ass, big ass quesadillas. And uh, I usually like to order my quesadillas with quesadillas with carne asada. Yeah, it's always good. It tastes better. Very, very good. And uh, what ended up happening was that my friend said, they'll pay for my food if I can eat 23 or at least 20 tacos and uh, what was it? And one big ass quesadilla. I did them one better. I ate an extra three because I was still hungry. I think that whole day I was actually, uh, yeah, that whole day I was actually very, very hungry. Didn't eat all day. And I think it, the mood hit right there. I was about to just destroy, devour the whole quesadilla and all that crud. And so I did, you know, we went to uh, go watch a soccer game, uh, by the, well, yeah, we went to go watch a soccer game by the local soccer team, and uh, we went, and I devoured 23 tacos right there, 23 tacos, guys. Now, the only downside to that was the fact that, uh, what was it, the next day I had to go to, let's see, yeah, we had to go to, had to go to a football carnival, yeah, a football carnival, and I... As soon as I got done eating tacos and I came back home, I went into like a big food coma. Didn't wake up until 6 in the morning. And then I was in a rush to go into the next town. So that right there was kind of a... That right there was kind of a bad bad idea in the first place. Now hold on just a sec. Grab that, we found ourselves a max potion. That's good. Yeah, so we went into the next town. I didn't necessarily... Yeah, I didn't necessarily prepare for this because, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't take care of anything. I didn't evacuate, meaning I didn't poop or anything like that. I just, uh, I just straight up went, went to the, uh, what you call it, to the event without going to the restroom. And there we go, found ourselves a hyper potion, good stuff. And the worst part about that was the fact that when I went, when I tried going to the restroom, the stalls didn't have no doors. So imagine, imagine that. We stayed at the uh, the football carnival for I would like to say five hours. So that's an extra five hours of me not going to the restroom. And as soon as I got back home, hold on just a sec, found ourselves a revive. Okay, so we found another item right there. So as soon as we got back home, actually I was speeding through the highway just to get back home. And as soon as I made it back home, literally. And I'm not like trying to talk about all poopy and all that stuff, but I literally spent an hour in the restroom just because it went from like what? I, I would like to say 7 p.m. at night all the way to like, I don't know, 6 p.m. in the next day 
without going to the restroom. So yeah, you can imagine how how like uh, how badly I must have felt. How I knew it was an hour. Well, in on that particular day, I was actually want uh, WWE had an event. It was I guess Extreme Rules, and I <laughs> and I just you know I was watching the 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 whole I was watching the event while I was uh while I was uh, going to the restroom. So yeah, it was literally an hour. I counted it right there. So yeah. <laughs> so that's my poop story for the day. If you guys have one, uh, I guess comment down below. We're all guys here, and I do apologize for the uh, for some of the girls who might be watching this. Okay, alrighty. So we're done with the Wellspring Cave. I think that's good enough for one episode. In the next one, we're gonna be going through uh, what was it? Uh, Night Green City. We do have an item right there that needs a little reviving, and then after that, we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.